This is going to get wild. <laughs> what up, what up, what up, though? This is your man, Big Ed, with the Smoke Session 612. With me, as always, I got my guy, OG. Sugar and- my bad. My bad. <laughs> I got with me my guy OG Tim Wilson and my <laughs> brother Wade. OG's on the board. <laughs> I thought that was cute. My bad. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, OG. Everybody's high in this show right now. Oh yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we just got done uh doing the episode of another show. Please excuse us. <laughs> And in between, we all partake in, in some extracurricular activities. Yeah. Oh, man. The yes. state of Minnesota has legalized marijuana. Ooh. Sugar don't go on, Rich. Okay. Ooh, so it's a good day here on the Smoke Session 612. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the fellas in. What up, OG? What up, what Wade? Up, do, 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 what up, doe? Well, hello. <laughs> this is about my tenth blunt of the day. Oh. I'm gonna shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding you. Oh shit. OG and Wade have both been partaking in gummies. Yeah. yeah. So it's gonna be a hell of a show. You snitching, man. A big knock. A big knock. You snitching is legal. You say it's legal. And you've been waiting your whole life to say that. Guess exactly. What? Guess what? They've been doing drugs. Guess what? They've been doing uh, gummies. Guess what? Hey. They've been doing. <laughs> the, 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 the logo for the smoke session 612 is a big ass pot leaf. So, yeah. A big knock. A big knock. <laughs> That is aloe vera, ladies and gentlemen. That is aloe vera. Okay. That's what you guys yeah. want to say. That's what it is. What you okay. Big head? Okay, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll go. It's aloe vera. Yeah. But this is the Smoke Session 612. I am Big Ed. That's OG and that's Waze. Um, let's go ahead and get this, this drink out the way. Okay. So we can get the show started. That's the yeah, you know, T Pain. Cheers. I'm gonna buy you a drink. Mm. I'm gonna buy you a drink. <laughs> Y'all ready to hear about a dumbass? Ah, uh, go right, go right ahead. Let's hear about a dumbass. I like that. There's a 64 year old Kentucky man allegedly shot his roommate. For eating his last hot pocket, nigga should have kept his hands to himself. That damn roommate is the dumbass. You know not to eat on that. You three <laughs> things a black man you don't fuck with. You don't fuck with his woman, his money, and his food. Right, you know that you dumbass leave his food alone. You got damn it, you. This wasn't a black man. This was a white man. Don't matter. It's a hot pocket. I understand. You don't know if he mean the food or if he mean his woman, because his woman had a hot pocket too. That bitch was burning like. <laughs> I'm saying, hey, it's like a bonfire. <laughs> Talk about a hot pocket. <laughs> Going to jail for a dollar twenty nine. You said, man, man, bitch, that pussy always smoldering. Man. Dumbass number two. All right, dumbass number two. Is a man accused of robbing the store with a Nintendo duck hunt gun. <laughs> what that is some ballsy shit. That is yeah. ballsy. <laughs> but that orange ass tiny gun. <laughs> it don't even look like a gun, man. Open the door before I bust you with this shoddy. Bro. <laughs> Bro. This is not <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> what the I, I wanna know where he bought it from. Because it's a funny. young kid. No, it's a young kid. He shouldn't even know about duck hunt. Wait, how old is he? Uh doesn't say how old he is. Oh, well, why you mention he was a young kid? You don't well, know. Well, because you can tell he's a young kid. Well, make this you, shit up. You can go on the Smoke Session Six One Two group page and, and you'll see. He's a young kid. Well, okay. 
Oh my! Turned well, on the TV. Well, that <laughs> you know that's childish, man. That ain't kids. That not, that makes it a lot. That makes it a little less dumbass to me. Yeah, it makes it. Oh, no. It's a little less dumbass to me. You use a toy from the eighties. That's the kids, man. What what whoa, whoa, what the fuck's wrong with the eighties, nigga? Right. Fuck you got it. Well, oh, hold up. Hold up. Uh, no, hold ain't nothing wrong with the eighties. Oh. Break yourself, fool. <laughs> hey, don't don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with yeah. the '80s. My uh, wife was born gonna, in the '80s. Why are you gonna bring up? I was born in the '80s. What was that supposed to mean, bro? He's terrible. Bruh. The '80s. I want to know where the hell he got a duck hunt gun from, so I can go get one. I want to play duck hunt too. Go to the pawn yeah. shop. You probably find hey. one. Amazon. This and Amazon that. got everything. Amazon. So, uh, y'all want to do the other two dumbasses now? Why not? Why not? Well, why right. not? We on the roll now. Dumbass number three. Dumbass <laughs> number three. A passenger on South Korean Airlines. Dumbass number three. Okay, he opened ahead. the emergency exit door mid-flight. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Did he get a blowjob? He wanted somebody to suck him. Ah, suck it! Yeah, well, suck yeah, it! Yeah. Uh, shit, I'm surprised the wind didn't suck everybody out the plane. That's exactly what I meant. But, that's, but uh, anyway, glad it didn't go over your head, big head. But uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, next, come on, man. And dumbass number four: two auto thieves in a stolen car ran out of gas on the 900 block of Margaret in Minneapolis. Margaret? That's got to be South Side. After struggling with the safety lock on the spout of a gas can for some time, the neighbors called the police. So they stole, the, uh, it was two 12 year olds stole the car. Damn. And why are you all hating on the kids today? What's up with that? Well, uh, shit. If they was dumb enough to steal a car, but not smart enough to put gas in the car, they some dumbasses. But they kids. They ain't watched their parents all these years put gas in the fucking car. You want to know who a real dumbass is? Real dumbass is a nigga that sold his car for gas money. That's no. the... <laughs> they <laughs> stole the car. God damn. Uh, I, I could, could, you know what? All right. This nigga's killing a real joke. God damn. He's just killing a good joke. Just, what the fuck is that? They stole the car. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I uh, hope somebody got uh, that. How old were these kids again? Twelve years old. Oh, so they still barely know how to wipe their own ass, let alone so, how to put gas. Jamarion's age. But <laughs> after they stole the car, that, the car ran out of gas. They went and got some gas cans and couldn't figure out how to use the gas cans. That how, that's how they got caught. Good for them. So that was dumbass number four. Real dumbass will steal a car and keep the payments up on it. <laughs> 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 so are we going with with hot pocket duck hunt? Airplane man, or the two 12 year olds? Oh, it's tough. I mean, Wade, what you think, man? Man, look, uh, what was the second person again? The second person duck was hunt. Duck Hunt. Okay, yeah, all right. And you said he's a kid, I couldn't find a picture, so I just gave up. Uh, Man, you know what? I'm gonna go with Dunk, Duck Hunt either way, because if, if it's for a video game, you should already know better than to think you can rob somebody with it. Well, it shot the ducks on TV, so it should should be able to shoot the bitch behind the counter. That's what he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm leaning more towards. The nigga that opened the plane door, even though he wasn't as funny, he did open the airplane door. Grown ass man 
in mid-flight opening the air. I, I was surprised that was the whole story. I was waiting for the rest of the story. I thought it was going to be something new to it, something else to it. But, yeah, I think I'm going with him. I'm going with the airplane man. Airplane Aaron. Uh, OG, I'm going to have to agree with you and go with the airplane guy. I mean, you're fucking 20, 30,000 feet in the air. <laughs> Where in the fuck are you going? He's going to, he had to take a piss in the bathroom with, with full, well, occupied. Somebody joining the mile they high. Figure, club, that's what I do, man. Somebody, people be taking somebody pissing in my bathroom. When I got to go, I just step outside and take a piss. So I guess that's what he was saying. Well, I just go outside. And... Yeah. yeah. Not at 30,000 feet. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it was a smart move. Right. Here's the thing: Was he drinking? I uh, does not say. I think he was smoking. I think he was on. I think he was on one of them crazy ass couple of them crazy ass gummies. He slightly uh, injured twelve other people. people. But that, that's all it says. Okay. So How do you slightly injured. On an airplane with the door open. Yeah. How do you slightly injure? I guess they slammed up against their seats. Oh, bam! Oh! <laughs> that or, or, or they <laughs> knocked all the wind out their lungs. Oh, they was getting stuck through that hole, but they, the seat stopped them and they smashed. Oh! The Can you imagine the pilot when he goes out of the cabin? It smells nothing but shit because all the people who just shit themselves after he opened that door. <laughs> Thank you for flying. Thank you for flying. Thank you for get the fuck off my plane. Get, to... <laughs> get your nasty asses. Get your nasty ass up. Where's the dumb ass to open the door? I want to. I want to talk to you. <laughs> so South Korean door to open the the South Korean guy. That opened the door on the airplane. You are this week's dumbass. 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 Dumbass of the week. Yeah. I tell you what, it's been a long time since we got that right. <laughs> <laughs> it has been. It has been. Hey, why was it just the two of us last week and we still fucked it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was a good show, though. Uh, but you know what? But you know what, though? I got to say it again. The real dumbass is the guy that bought a car. No, never mind. I fucked it up this time. <laughs> the real dumbass is the guy that sold his car for gas money. Anyway, so let's keep going. <laughs> 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 Hello, Hello, Hello. I had to try to joke again. Just, 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 they fucked my joke up. You don't know he stole the car. God damn. Man, I'm fucking <laughs> up my jokes. Uh, the rapper Fetty Wap. Uh-huh. My guy. Yeah, he, he's got he's got some hits out there, some good music. That's my guy. He was sentenced to six years in prison for a drug trafficking scheme. I don't care. He's still my guy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Seventeen. about the fight model about that Wap. Say what? <laughs> I said it out loud, my bad. <laughs> I said they really about to find out if he really got that walk. Baby girl, you're so damn fine, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good. That worked. That worked. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I got caught up. Fetty, my nigga, dog. Uh, Fetty. Uh, hopefully, when he comes out, we'll be able to hear some new music. From I am a Fetty fan, dude. Fetty, Fetty Wap had one of the biggest years that a hip hop artist can have, dude. Yeah, he did. That nigga had joints after joints, boy. Uh, I remember at that time, I was working at. A little restaurant that was connected to a bar and every night Fetty Wap was played at least three or four times but niggas and nobody pl- said nothing niggas to this day are drinking 1738 you yep. know what I was doing when this shit came out I was what? smoking weed with a fucking uh, quadruple leaf 
it. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it here first. He heard it first. <laughs> you heard it here first, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Baby girl, you're so damn fine, though. <laughs> 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 you heard it. You heard it here first, folks. Oh, shit. He was smoking weed with a quadriplegic. You know what, though? On on the real shit. I wish I was lying. What's that? I've done that shit I'm probably thousands of times. <laughs> Close friend of mine that I grew up with. He's actually uh, Johnny the Mechanic's little brother. Uh, big ups to Deep uh, Nice. Uh, he was born with muscular dystrophy, and he was my best friend. And he was confined to a wheelchair at an early age. And that motherfucker used to smoke more weed than the three of us combined. And we used to get high like a mother. That was my nigga. And I miss him to death, man. We lost him a while back, a long time ago. We lost, we lost be nice, but yo. Pick up to be nice in the trip out master mix. He's part of it. Me and Jad was 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 rivals. Me and Beeb used to rival him. He used to rival us too. He used to compete with us. But uh yo, big up to my boy Beeb Nice, man. I love you. Miss you, brother. For sure, for sure. You just man, you just brought that back to me, man. You yeah. brought that back to me. When you when you mentioned getting having a pair paraplegic, I did. Me and me and Peep used to get hot in the motherfucker. And he could <laughs> talk about you till you cried. <laughs> right? He couldn't jump up and kick your ass, but he used to like he used to say, if I jump up and whoop your ass, if I get up and whoop your ass, you know you got an ass whooping coming. That's <laughs> 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 my nigga. Miss you, man. For right. Sure. All right, big ass, what you got for us? Uh, hey, what you got for us, man? Jay Z. Jay Z once told Ludacris, "Why Luda? he doesn't get the lyrical credit that he deserves?" Luda is a beast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he doesn't get a lot of credit for his lyrics. You know, he he's got the big flashy because, videos because guys like you say uh, mad because it came out in the two thousands and not the nineties. Love Ludacris. Nah, 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 nigga. You are nah, that nah, nope. I put Southern has hospitality on the list the other night too. Nope, nope. We yeah, we don't care. <laughs> right here, it was number five on the list. Sugar don't go on rich. <laughs> <laughs> don't that didn't even make sense? <laughs> but uh, Jay Z told him that he doesn't get the lyrical credit he deserves because his videos are too flashy and out there. Man, his videos are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I missed a lot of Luda in, when we were doing the other night because we didn't do that one. Stand up. Stand oh, up. Boom, 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 Move, bitch. Get out the way. Yeah. Uh, move, was very young. Get out the way. Or uh, the, the way, one he did bitch. with, or, uh, what's his name, Shauna? Getting some head. Oh, yeah. That wasn't. I thought that was uh too short. Getting no, some that head. Was, that was get, I was getting some head. Getting getting some head. I was getting some head. Getting getting some head. That was too short. No, that was Shauna. Okay. I swear to God, that was Shauna. All right. But that was uh, too short on there, with it. That was too short you, saying getting some head. Getting getting some head. Yeah, that was Shauna. That that was her big hit. Yeah, but it was too short saying that. Oh. It was too short's voice was saying, I was getting some head. Getting getting some head. I was getting some head. Getting getting some head. Oh no, I'm talking about the verse he dropped on the track. Oh, okay. Well I am telling you that was only two short album too. Oh, okay. I just know the I know that for a fact because I didn't have Shauna. I never heard of Shauna. And I had two shorts album and it was on there. That's all I'm saying. So, I, 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 it, it could be two songs using the same shit, but that was too short that I'm talking about. Right. And I know that for a fact, because I was married. But no, the one I'm talking about was was by a female. Somebody in the house heard me song. say, oh yeah, no, I'm talking about too short. Uh, earlier in, in the What Up Though show, 
we touched on the Tupac story. All right? Yep, we did. I should have brought this up earlier. Oh, he's stealing my shit. But no, I'm not stealing this shit because I already had it set in the lineup for the show. <laughs> Sugar don't go on, Rich. <laughs> You can go ahead and find this story on the Smoke Session 612 group page. Why would you do that when it's on the, when it's already on the What Up Do show? You said you just saw you, you didn't see the story. Sugar don't go on, Rich. All right, what's the story, what? man? Go ahead. Uh, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. Big Boy <laughs> and Pac's sister, Sakaiwa Set Shakur. Are the ones that are going to be presenting, you know, doing the speeches and, and whatnot. So, and he's also getting a uh, street named after him in Oakland. Public service announcement. Oh. Huh. Okay. I, I guess I never would have thought of Big Boy when I would have thought of someone that's presenting and doing anything for oh, Tupac. No, Tupac. Big, Boy, Big Boy was instrumental in Pac's career. How? On the radio. How? Because everything damn near you oh, played at that time was pop. Hey, OG, we think of Big Boy from Outcast. I am thinking Big <laughs> Boy from Outcast. No, I'm thinking wow. about Big Boy, the radio host. Yeah, he said, uh, see, you said radio. Uh, like, oh, this, this was man. back before he got gastric bypass. And I'm big. thinking you're talking about Big Boy from Outcast. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm with you, Waze. I'm with you, Waze. Well, and a third person has Who's been arrested. Third person? A th- I don't know who the third person was. I didn't see yeah, it is. Allow me to reintroduce oh. myself. My name is Ho. Oh. H to the O V. Okay, that was the third person. I, I knew him. I just wanted to say, I was just wanted we, to we, uh, let him introduce himself. I just. I just wanted to let him introduce himself. <laughs> this actually don't have nothing to do with Jay-Z. No, you said the third person and you didn't know who it was, so I was telling you who the third person oh. was. Well, I'm telling you, the third person, you know who the third person was, right? If no. not... Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. Oh, H to the O V. I- okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the third person, Big Ed, you need to smoke Jay. some weed. Big Ed, you need to smoke some weed. Cause you acting real, 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 real dry right now. Uh, <laughs> the third person, his name is Jay. Jay Bryant. I Jay told Bryant. you it was. What did I say? I just the dude just said it himself. Who he was? Uh, he has been charged in the murder of Jam. He's the third person to be charged in the murder of Jam Master Jay. Run DMC and Jam Master J. That's sad, man. The, the story of Jam Master J ended sadly, man. And and, and huge fan of, of Run DMC and Jam Master J. I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Didn't you have a story about Jay Z? That was what he said about Luda. Oh. I was say, wait, didn't we cover that? And then you know what he said to me? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. Oh, H to the O V. All right, my bad, man. I'm going to stop hijacking this show. He get mad. All right, we got two lists. He get mad because I'm hijacking this show, y'all. <laughs> I'm not getting mad. We got two lists to choose from. Okay. What's First one list? comes to us from rockbells.com. Rock the bells. 15 legendary beats that MCs actually passed on. Or 14 of the illest rap album covers. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Now, what did you say? What was the first one? Yeah. 15 legendary beats that other MCs passed on. Okay. Or... 14 of the illest rap album covers. I want to hear the legendary beats. So do I. That sounds more interesting to me. All right. We'll go with the legendary beats. 
that other rappers passed on. Yep. I like that. 15 legendary beats that other rappers passed on. I like that. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Sounds fun. Uh, number 15. Number 15? Cannabis and Devil's Pie by D'Angelo. Oh, Devil's Pie by D'Angelo. Cannabis passed on that. I don't consider that beat legendary, but okay. Right. Uh, number 14, the aforementioned Shauna passed on Gold Digger by Kanye West. Wow, that is okay. I'm glad the list is getting a little better now. Yeah. Number 13, the notorious B.I.G. and doing it by LL Cool J. Okay, so look, okay, so notorious B.I.G. passed on the beat that Cool J used for, for doing it. Okay, find a better way to to, to present to present to these answers, man. You you, you you just saying shit. All right. Okay. Got you. Okay. Common. Passed on Heard Him Say by Kanye West. I don't know if Heard Him Say by Kanye West. Yeah, I don't even know that one. Uh, I can't play it right now. Okay. <laughs> um, But uh, Pusha T. Passed on Niggas in Paris. Oh, oh, could have had something with that. Damn, damn, that was a big one. Uh, what number 11? Yep, I don't know. Uh, Diddy passed on zero to 100 by Drake. Oh, wow, I could see him passing on that because Drake had Drake's style fitted. He, he his Drake style fit some some awkward beats. So there's a radio station. I, I'm gonna we'll go there real quick, uh, a little okay. bit off the beaten path. You're on number ten. We got to remember that. Yep. Um, okay, number ten. You're on the, off, off the beaten path. There's a radio station that took over Channel 42 because it used to be Channel 42 used to be the reggae channel, not a reggae channel to move down the dial, and Drake bought Channel 42 on Sirius. Okay. And, um. It's interesting because it's more of a Drake vibe. You don't really hear much Drake on there. I've heard one Drake song on that station since it's been there. But it's a Drake vibe. You, I've, you hear in songs you've never heard before, but you can feel that this is some shit that Drake in, was, is influenced by. This is his vibe. It is a real interesting station. Uh, it's a real interesting station. It really is. It's a, it's a real Drake vibe. And, and, and I could see how Drake comes, comes up and finds beats that other people don't. Listening to that station helps me understand that he sees something in beats in certain style beats that other people don't see. Yeah. Okay. So that was number ten, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, no, that was number. Okay. That was number. Now I'm on number ten. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you did. Now. Okay. Jada Kiss passed on Jigga, my nigga. Oh. <laughs> oh. Said, you... Why did I know you was gonna say that? They say if you listen to the record close. It sounds like the locks joint. It, it says Jada. Sung Jada, by Eve. Jada. Uh, Jada. Really? But really? Jada didn't want it. So check this out. This going to trip you out. This was one of my hottest mixes when me and Tone used to do UW Madison because I was getting used to the new songs because I had been out of DJing a little bit. But I still had all my old shit from when I was DJing. Right. And I mix in, you know, I was mixing in a lot of new shit. But my one of my dopest mixes back then was mixing the Locks' first song, which was what? What was their first song they came with? Uh, wild out, boom, wild out, 
and then and I used to drop that, had that player, then I go, and niggas to get it right, nigga to get it right, boom. Tigger, <laughs> boom, Tigger. Hell I yeah. To mix them, that was my mix. So that is very interesting to me that Jada passed on that beat. Because I damn sure mixed um, used to mix that with Bobby. Is- and it was a perfect mix. I was trying to figure out why I was hearing that. Why you was hearing what? Uh, I was actually hearing 50 Cent in the club while you were saying all of that. Oh, I thought you was hearing. Sugar don't go on, Rich. <laughs> what? <laughs> At number nine. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of 50 Cent in the club. Okay. D12 passed on it. D12. No freaking way. You know what? Does they whack? Yeah. Whack. But yeah, they, they passed on, on in the club and you then got, got it. And they would have, you know what? I'm glad they passed up on it because they would have fucked it up. Yeah. They do have a D12 version. And have and has any of us ever heard it? No. No, because they would have fucked that beat up. <laughs> At number eight, Fitch Jay-Z classic. passed on Whoa by Black Rob. Oh, my God. Oh, oh he could have done some damage with that kind of a beat. Oh, he would have killed that. Now, nah, he would have. I could hear him. I'm surprised he wasn't on that because there's a remix with all the other rappers. I'm surprised he ain't jump on it. Right. I was him. I'd have jumped on it. Like, give me that beat now. God damn it! I see what it is. Fuck y'all. Give me. Let me give me that beat. <laughs> damn. That's, number seven. that's been the dope. That's been the most shocking one for me so far. Yeah. At number seven, Foxy Brown passed on. I got a story to tell by Biggie. You Whoop. know what? Uh, I can hear that too. I could hear that. That is a dope beat. I, I would have I would have tried to. But you know what? I guess sometimes a beat come across and you know it's fire and you just can't do it justice and you just got to let it go. Yeah. Because that's a beat that's fire, but I probably, I probably would have tried to find something to fit on it, but I probably ended up, would have ended up. I could see myself passing on some dope beats. In my day, you know, not now, of course. I know motherfuckers like, hey, what's your old ass talking about? But in my day, when I was in music, I could see myself passing on certain beats that was fire just because I didn't feel like it was a fit for me. Right. That's a, that's a beat that would have fit. It seemed to me like it would have fit her. And I guess she, she looked at it as too soft for her vibe because she was trying to be so hard. I can see her thinking that was too soft. Foxy said it was the worst beat she's ever heard in her life. Damn. Oh. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Bloom, bloom. Do, 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 do. Man, yeah, but I, I can see know. it being too soft for her vibe, though, back then, because she was trying to be hard. Uh, that was number seven, right? Number six. Beanie Siegel passed on T.I.'s Bring Him Out. Beanie Seagull would have killed that damn beat. <laughs> Man, that would have been massive. Beanie Seagull would have beat that beat way harder. Yeah. He would have did. He would have went way harder on that. I could see was, him out doing old boy on that beat. It was supposed to be. Bring him out, bring him out. It was supposed to be his, his the song that he made when he came out of prison. Mm. Huh. That would have been dope. That would have been I, awesome. I want to hear it. I want to hear that. Beanie was fire, yeah. man. Beanie is, is very underrated. Yeah. Very underrated. Uh, number five. Eve. Passed on Touch It by Buster Rhymes. I'm trying to think of what Touch It is by Buster Rhymes. Touch it, turn it, stop it, leave it. Uh, with the, the one with Nelly Furtado. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm okay. No, it wasn't Nelly Furtado. I know the song you're talking about, though. Yeah. The remix is actually better than anything. 
Yeah, I, I'm I'm okay with her passing on that. I would have passed on that too. I'm glad she passed on that. She did right. Yeah. Busta Rhymes passed on Nas's halftime. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is a this is a fun list right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Cause you know what's what's just as interesting, and this this is now this is something that I would have done. What's just as interesting is that somebody heard something in that beat and made it a hit after it was already in the junk pile. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was yep. already somebody that said no to that. That's been a big name. Somebody that is somebody that pushed that to the side and said, this trash, and you pulled it out the trash and made it a hit. There's something to that. i tell you who was the queen of that, and that was Aaliyah. That's what Timberland, from Timberland's own mouth, he said, Aaliyah would come by and only want to hear the stuff that I was that I was that I had already written off and said I ain't using. She only wanted to hear the stuff that I decided I didn't want to use. And she picked all her songs from that pile. That's dumb. (laughs) That's that's my kind of shit, too. That's the kind of shit I would do. I don't want to hear none of the shit you think is hot. Play me all the shit you think is not. And I'll pick mine from there. Right. Because I know ain't nobody coming for that. Yeah. Not even you. Let's see if I hear something from some of those. And she picked all the beats from that pile. That's that's the kind of shit I would have did. That's why me and the Leo soulmates. <laughs> uh, Buster says he actually didn't know what to do with the beat. He said he loved the shit out the beat, but he just didn't know what to do with it. What I just said a little bit ago. Sometimes you just you feel it is dope, but it just ain't it ain't me. I can't do it justice. Let it roll. He said after he heard it on halftime, he said, I was like, God damn, I was a stupid ass for not touching this beat. <laughs> uh, he just didn't, he didn't have it. He did, it wasn't for him. That's all. Sometimes you right. just need to hear that inspiration from someone else touching on it. Right. Right. That's it. That is true. And I'm actually way ahead in the list than what I'm supposed to be. That's all right. Keep rolling. Oh, That's fun. Uh, Kanye West had a song called Heart of the City. Hey, the good news is you're the only one to know the real order, so. Right. You can put them in any order you please. (laughs) Uh, Kanye West made a song called Heart of the City that was actually meant for DMX. I don't know that song. Me neither. Makes it interesting. It It was on College Dropout's last call. Yeah, I wouldn't know that. And Jay Z's, one of Jay Z's most famous songs, "Girls, Girls, Girls." I remember that song. Was actually meant for Ghostface. Ooh! Wow! Ooh! The ghost would have tore that up. Yeah, Just Blaze says that that was actually meant for Ghostface. Dang, he would have tore that shit up. I would have loved to have. I would. I would. Uh, another one that I would actually like to hear right now. <laughs> I would like to hear Ghostface on that beat. Yes. I would just like to hear that. Hell yeah, that would have been dope. It would be dope right now. Yeah. I would like to hear that right now because you know Ghost gonna say some shit, <laughs> right? <laughs> he gonna tell one of them stories and shit. Ghost fire man. He's another underrated MC. Another yeah. underrated MC. But that brings us to the last segment of the Smoke Session. Oh, I thought you was bringing us to the last one. That was the last one? Yep, that was the last one. The last one. Damn, <laughs> man, that, was, that was dope, man. I will hold up, hold up. I got to give you, I got to give you, I got to give some love on that one. I got to give some love on that one. I enjoyed that list. That was dope. That was fire. Yeah, that was yeah. fire. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, I want to hear every one of them tracks with the alternate artists on them. Right. Not all of them, but yeah, some of them. I want to hear Buster on Halftime. Yeah. I definitely want to hear Face. So yeah, yeah, there's some of them. I want to hear Beanie. 
Uh, I wouldn't mind hearing DMX on that track because I don't even know. Right. Just to see what he would do with it. See, because with him, I would probably know the track. That that track was Heart of the City. Yeah, I don't know that shit. But I would still like to hear DMX on it. What right. about Cannabis Over Devil's Pie? Yeah, nah, I'm not a big cannabis guy. Oh. I'm, not even a, I'm not a fan of either one of those. I'm not a fan of Cannabis or that song. Or Devil's Pie. Right. I think Lovely. Devil's Pie beat is, is okay. Not not killing it, but okay. But yeah, that one don't, don't intrigue me much. Why is that popping up? I wasn't trying to pop that up. We'll bust on what? half time to be live. I gotta find today in hip hop history again. Oh, <laughs> you gotta find it. There While goes. he's looking for it, I want to remind everybody of a public service announcement in case you missed it. Sugar don't go on rich. That's what I'm saying. I want you to remember that. When All you right. get down in the morning, and mama fix you some eggs, and she fix you some toast, and she puts you some bacon, and she puts you some grits, and she reach for She say, you want salt, pepper? You want some sugar? You look at your mama, and you say, sugar don't go on grits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell my grandmama, I want some sugar, baby. Because that's what she going to say to me. Let her get the picture. Don't listen to him. Y'all know who y'all listening to if you listen to him, right? But that brings us to the last segment of the day. What's the last segment of the day? To this week in hip hop history. Today, June 2nd, 1970. Happy birthday to Be Real of Cypress Hill. Be Real of Cypress Hill. You know what? I've always liked the name Be Real, but I never noticed that it rhymes with Cypress Hill. That's kind of make me like it a little more. <laughs> I love Cypress Hill. Uh, June 1st, 1999. Ja Rule released his debut album, Vinny Vidi Vici. Vinny Vinny Vidi 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 Vidi. Bonus points to anybody who knows what that means. Um, okay. <laughs> I pass. June 1st, 1992. You know, oh, no, no, no. I know what that means. What's it, that? Sugar don't go on, Rich. <laughs> That's what it means. It means. <laughs> June 1st, 1992. Some guy named Seagram released his debut album, The Dark Roads. You don't remember Seagram? No. Nope. Okay. Seagram sound like a really cheap night with a bunch of white people near a bonfire. Uh, Seagram gives me some bad memories. Yeah. Uh, Seagram gives me one bad memory, but a lot of, but the rest of them are cool. And that bumpy face ain't no joke. I remember when I went to, <laughs> damn, he come up again. Johnny the Mechanics graduated the year he graduated. We was I went on his swing out with him. And we was knocking down Seagrams, and I didn't eat. Yeah, uh, y'all know the rest. Y'all know the rest of that story, right? <laughs> yeah. You go on an empty stomach, knocking down Seagram gin. Oh, what man. you think about to happen? Yeah, that bumpy face ain't no joke. Yeah, you black out every time. Man, I threw up every time. That's what you end up doing. End up throwing up all over the place. May 31st, 1964, Daryl DMC McDaniels of Run DMC was born. Yo, Run DMC and Jam Master. <laughs> Jam Master J. Rest in peace, Jam Master J. Glad they caught the third person involved with your murder. Uh, May 31st, 1988. Boogie Down Productions released Boogie their Down sophomore album. By All Means Necessary. By Any Means Necessary. Oh. Okay. It just says By All Means here. So it's so. By Any Means Necessary. 
is the name of the album. Okay. The album cover. He's holding a he's holding a, a, an assault rifle and he's looking out the window. Yep. Right. Yep. Called, so you're looking at the album cover and you're still getting the, the name wrong. That's because it reads by all means. It necessary. is by any means necessary. And if you know your history, that is also a quote from Malcolm X. And the yes. picture is also a reenactment of a picture of Malcolm X when he was uh, hiding from from uh, when he was at basically at, at an unspoken war against the Nation of Islam. And uh, that was a phrase of his: "We are going to get our rights by any means necessary." So that's where it comes from. That's the name of it. Whoever's telling you different, they white. Get rid of it. Okay. That's Malcolm X. That's black history. Oh, I, I know it's by, the, the quote is it, by any means necessary. I'm just saying yeah, what it reads here. Of, and that was the name of the album. Okay. By any means necessary. And that was a, that picture that he took. Was, there was also a picture of Malcolm X in the exact same pose. So mm-hmm. it was a, his picture was a reenactment of the Malcolm X picture. Malcolm okay. X picture. Yeah, I was all in back then, bro. You talking? You talking my shit right now? <laughs> <laughs> you talking my time? You talking about my time when hip hop was my life, nigga? Um, nineteen ninety-two. I gotta find it again. There it is. Or ninety-four, rather, ninety-four. May thirty-first, nineteen ninety-four. The Beastie Boys came out with their fourth studio album. Ill communication. Ill communication. I remember that. I actually had that album. Uh, on a whim, I picked that up, and it had a dope ass song on there. Uh, I played it for you on my Hidden Jewels before, when I used to do the Hidden Jewels show. It's a. It's featuring uh, Q Tip. It's called Get It Together. Dope song on there. I have to check that out again. Yeah, it's called Get It Together. It's called uh, by by uh, Beastie Boys with, featuring Q-Tip. Okay. Huh. Remember, he used to be a producer back then, too. Exactly. Uh, May Ooh. 30th, 1975. What's that? You talking about Q-Tip? Yep. Well, Q-Tip was always a producer, though, but he was just doing that on a low. I mean, Tribe was already on the map when that, that came out. Oh. Can't remember what show that was. was but yeah, he was, was a he was Netflix. a producer too. Yeah, there was a show on Netflix with, that was talking about how he was a producer before he became a rapper. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he, I know he's a producer. I know he can he can do some. He he dope. He also discovered Jay Dilla. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah. He discovered Jay Dilla. Hey Della, uh, they sent him a tape of uh, he was in Detroit. He was performing in Detroit, and somebody slipped him a tape of uh, Slum Village. Okay. Della did was doing Della was doing did all they beats right. Right. And he heard it was like, oh, uh, who's doing these beats? <laughs> <laughs> and he. Got some other people around, turned them on to it. It's like, that shit's dope, right? That shit's crazy. And they got in touch with Dilla and Dilla did the far side. I didn't know he was part of the far side. Dilla did the far side beats. Oh, okay. He ain't part of the far side. He did their beats. Right. Hey, look who's in the building. Uh Uh-oh, who's that? Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh. What's up, Sophie? Say hi. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> uh May 30th, 1975. Okay. CeeLo Green of Goody Mob was born. Hey. Forget you and forget you too. actually had that on my list that one in crazy but we just did hip hop and those couldn't be considered hip hop to me so I had to take those off my list the other day on the ways first you know what you know what and I would have I would have been on your side I would have backed you up on that 
Yeah. Because even though he's singing, she loves hip hop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just like Lauren. You did that. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Hold up. I got that too. Wait, what is that? Oh, damn. Never mind. Uh, CeeLo, CeeLo, it's like Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill, even though she sings, Lauren Hill yep. is hip hop. And like she she said that on the Grammy. She's like, don't get it twisted. This is an R&B award. But baby, this is hip hop. Right? i never right. forget that. That was that to me was more memorable. That was my, I know Big Ed's most memorable uh, Grammy line was, or, or award show line was, uh, stop got something to say. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, mine is, mine is Lawrence saying, "I think I know this R and B award, and I appreciate it." But yo, this is hip hop. That was mine. Ways, what's yours? Any award show? The most memorable line from an artist. Uh... <laughs> I, I, I can tell you ways right now. What? Let him tell it. Let me tell it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Keep my wife's name. Out your fucking <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I know that was good what he was gonna say. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I got one more for this week in hip hop history. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I thought he was going to say? I thought he was going to say, uh, I thought he was going to do the shit that I was all in your videos, all <laughs> your songs. Come to death row. I thought he was going to go there. This nigga, hey, this tell you the truth. Will Smith. <laughs> tell you the truth. I actually thought he was going to go with Kanye when he interrupted Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was another good one. That was another good one. We got to tell We need to do that. This needs to be the way first topic. Top 10 award show moments. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a pretty good I got, one. I got one more thing in hip hop history. Okay. Uh, the aforementioned Big L was born May 30th, 1974. Where did we mention Big L? Just a minute ago with Q Tip in the far side. Oh, I didn't know Big L was in the far side. Me neither. You, you said he did the beats. No, I said Jay, D- Jay Dilla. Oh, Jay Dilla. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the smoke session. Oh, I love it, man. Yeah, we just smoked a lot. <laughs> Shit, I, I smoked a, a blunt during the ways for uh, no. the, during the what up though show. Welcome and to the I, smoke session, folks. And then I just smoked a blunt during the smoke session. <laughs> Welcome to the smoke session. Plus all, all, all the good. beers. But I it's all good. You know what? It's all good, baby. <laughs> this is what we do. I done drank about three, four beers. By the time we get to the smoke session, it's with the end of the week. We all tired. We all been drinking. We all been high. So we just let it, let it go. Let it loose. Exactly. Yeah. We just sit here and talk shit. About 20 minutes ago, but we just took... I know, right? All right, where we at, Big Ed? Get your show under control. <laughs> oh, we on our way out. <laughs> we on our way out to where? Breakfast. I like the shit. To Let's the go to breakfast. Sugar don't go on, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, said we on our way to the after set. All right, this the after set. Go ahead. Close us out then, Big Ed. I'd like to see y'all later. Thank y'all for joining us. Don't hit it. Don't situation. hit it, Waze. Don't hit it, Waze. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Big Ed. Peace out. We'll see y'all next week. Hey, 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 hey. Who can name that artist? Hold up, Big Ed. Don't name him. Waze, <laughs> can you name that artist? <laughs> I want to say, hey, can you name that artist? No. Ooh. It sounded like a Dr. Dre beat that Snoop was on. Well, I was uh, gonna say George Clinton. Oh, both of y'all gonna be wrong. Boosie, none other than the most underrated rapper of all times, Perry.